Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, you know, this year has been a lot of surprises, a lot of rackets that I've tested. But today, I'm going to combine those two, the racket surprises of 2021. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we've tested a ton of rackets this year. There's been a ton of new releases and stuff that people have sent me to try and stuff that I actually went to seek myself because I've heard a lot about some of these rackets and really wanted to try them. So which are the ones that I really, really loved and really, really enjoyed and recommend? Well, I'm going to start by... Taking a sip of my coffee before I get going. Thank you guys for uh, supporting my coffee habit. It's fruity with hints of something herbal notes or something like that is what it said. So I guess I'm fruity today. All right. I want to support my fruity habit. It's um, the network is buy me a coffee forward slash tennis spin link is below thank you so these are the rackets that um, are winners in my opinion so I, I know that you can ask you know five or ten different people and you'll get five or ten different answers to some of these um, rackets so but this is just my personal favorites from um, racket testing in the past year okay I'm gonna start with the the Kevin Anderson sponsored CX 200 tour 18 by 20. So historically, I've never really liked 18 by 20s, but for some reason, this racket doesn't feel that way. It, it has like a 16, uh, 19 feel, enough power. I mean, it, it's just kind of a very, very surprising racket. Uh, for those of you who like, you know, pro staffs, let's say like a 95 back in the day, this is kind of a heavier, beefier version of that. So for those of you who are who love player sticks and have been kind of shying away from this ragged because it's an 18 by 20, definitely give it a shot. I bet you will be pleasantly surprised. Now, don't get this confused with the 16 by 19 because that 16 by 19 is lighter. So for the extra weight on the 1820, um, this, you just try this. You just have to try this 18 by 20. It, it's that good. Okay? So, Kevin Anderson, Dunlop's doing a great job right now. Now, I, maybe I haven't touted this enough, but I feel like the head, the head extreme line is probably their best line in a long, long time. I've sold a ton of these. Um, I believe in these rackets. I feel like this MP can be right up there with a pure drive or an arrow. Uh, it, it's that good. It probably has more feel than that. I've never been a fan of extremes in the past. So this is how much I believe in the, this line of rackets. They even added this tour. I mean, in the past, it's been an extreme pro in which they just took the MP and made it heavier. But this is kind of a redesigned racket. The Tour is a 98. So it's kind of like Technofibers 305, if you guys know what that is, that T-Fight 305. Um, it's similar to that, but has a little bit of a better feel and a better balance. So as you guys know, 98s are kind of coming up in the world. There's a lot of them out there. And this is probably right at the top of the heap um, if you're into, you know, trying a bunch of new 98s. So if I said 95, excuse me, I'm talking about 98s. Okay. Um, I feel like for the game improvement people who want more power, the power of the extreme line is probably the best in the series, or the best in the category, excuse me. 
So light, powerful. It's got that TIS-6 shape, but it's got more feel. Uh, got great amount of power. Easy to play. So a lot of people are fans of this too, including myself. So the whole line of extremes have been wonderful. So I hope head doesn't do anything too drastic to it when they make a change. Hopefully somebody over there is listening to me. Okay. Now to some of the more unique rackets out there and probably a little harder to get except for this one. So what am I talking about? The IGA racket. IGA Sviantex signature. Let's see, show you right there. That Technofiber T rebound. You know, in the past, I've never, I mean, I, I whenever said somebody said T rebound to me, I thought about, oh, it's a woman's racket because that's who I believe the the series is meant for. Um, I I feel like this isn't any different than that. Um, I feel like if you know, if you know that you have a great woman, high level girl in your midst, give this one a shot. It's 298 grams. That's why it's called a 298. It, in the, in the video when I did the, the testing on this racket, I feel like this is kind of a woman's pro stock racket that you don't have to customize. It's got great feel, decent amount of power, good all around racket, very maneuverable. I mean, even a guy can probably technically get away from this, oh, get into it, excuse me, get into this. And um, yeah, it's, it's good. I, it's just an all around great racket that surprised all of us who've tested it. T rebound 298, give this one a shot. Now, my buddies over at Bolt sent me these, and with the system that's you know built into these frames, as you can see from the outside, they actually work. So if you want more rebound from the strings, more power, a lot of dampening, these are great choices for you. So for the recreational player to you know, intermediate you know, low advanced level player. These are great choices if you're suffering from tennis elbow or just want something different. Um, I got the two different, hun hun excuse me, I got a 98 to my right and a 100 to my left. So remember I told you 98 is a big category right now and Bolt has come out with their version of it. So definitely intermediate, high intermediate, possibly low advanced um, for this 98. They're kind of more a little more recreational for this one. Uh, great, great system. Remember, I, I said in the video, it's probably one of the most technolog technologically advanced um, rackets out there. So they put a lot of thought in this system, and it definitely does work. Give these bolts a try if you're suffering from any kind of tennis elbow, or you just want something different um, to try. They have a demo program, so you can just demo these from them directly, okay? Um, I'll, sh I'll link something below if you guys are interested. Okay, the one racket that has really, really surprised me this year, that I wasn't expecting the like, that I had to get, that I was actually going to make a trip to go get all the way in Japan, but they don't want me there because they don't want me there. Now, actually, they don't want anybody there. This is Japan. So I was actually going to make a trip all the way to Japan that I would every year anyways. But I would be looking for a racket. Um, so the the Reina 100 and the Reina 98. I deem these as the best rackets I've tried this year and probably for a long, long time. Uh, when I first tried the 100, I thought it was good. It was good. I, I would say try it and maybe you can, you know, you should get one. It's probably one of the better rackets that they've made in a hundred. But when I tried the 98, that blew it out, blew it out, blew it out the door, blew it like straight up, killed it. This is probably the best racket um, out there that I've, I don't want to say ever tried, but definitely in the top three that I've ever tried. 
So the Reyna 98, easy power, um, easy feel, easy weight distribution. Uh, I mean, the only racket that I could compare it to that is is or was mainstream is that V-Core 95, the all red version that's no longer made. It's that racket on steroids. It's that good. For those of you who know what I'm talking about, that V-Core 95 and the all red that we liked last year, it is it's just like that, but better. Can you imagine better than that? So that's what this feels like. When you hit the ball, it just hammers the ball. It just takes off. And you're like, I didn't even feel anything. This racket, I mean, although, I mean, the beam is not thick, thick, it feels like it's thick and stiff. And it's, but it, you get great, um, feel from it. Like when it hits the strings, it just rockets off when you hit it right. And it feet has a great, easy, knife through butter feel. So I, I can't say enough about this racket. It's well designed too. I mean, let's look at all these, man, it's just black with, with, I don't know what this is, some kind of, uh, mystic properties, uh, royalty. Oh, royalty is what I was saying because of the, the symbol. But that is, you know, that's my favorite of the bunch, Reina 98. Um, they don't sell it here in the States. I mean, they're sold out in the warehouse places, but that's why I was going to make a trip all the way to Japan to find myself one. So that's going to give me an excuse as soon as Japan opens up again for me to look for a brand new one for myself. All right, so that's my list. I know that you guys probably agree with me on some and probably not on others, but let me know what would be on your list of the stuff you've tried this year. Um, let me know below. All right. So I got a special guest with me today. Brought me a bag of rackets to test. We're going to probably do that on a future video. But thank you for doing that. What's your name and where are you from? Hey, everyone. Angus Wong here, and I'm from San Francisco. And Angus is going to take us out today. Angus? Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.